All right, here we are again, another video. Uh, today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make trades on Nookazon. Uh, it's a really good service that I've been using a lot lately, and uh, been making a lot of money on it. Uh, it's a really good service. You can get like pretty much any item that you want. It's just a bunch of people uh, making listings and selling all their stuff for different items. For Nook Miles tickets is like a really big form of currency that people are using and uh, for bells. Um, yeah, so this video is going to show you how to safely make trades on Nookazon. Alright, so this is the front page of Nookazon. After you've made an account, you can add listings, add items to your wish list, etc. And there's all these different options on how to browse for items that are listed. But the easiest way to make a listing is to come up here and just type it into the search. I'm going to do the starry sky wall, click on that item. Down here is all the listings that other people have for it. I like to base my prices off of what other people have listed here. Just gives you a good idea of what it's worth. And then you can come right here and just hit add listing. I'm selling it. I'm not auctioning it. This is if you were looking for it. This is the amount that you have. You can check this box right here if it's the DIY recipe that you're selling. Uh, this is the option for touch trading, which basically just means someone drops it for you, you pick it up, you get it in your catalog, and then you just drop it back for them. Uh, this you could ask for offers, and then this is the box where you would check for materials required. And I'm going to go ahead and do that because that's what I'm asking for. Over here you can ask for bells or Nook Miles tickets or even different items that you're looking for. But I'm just going to ask for the one ticket, and then you just hit add listing. And just like that, you've added a listing to Nookazon. Alright, so this is what your seller profile looks like. You can see these are all my listings here. Here's the starry sky wall that we just put up. Uh, here's all my fossils that I have listed right now. And if you come up here, you can see that this is where the wish list is. These are the items that I'm looking for. And you can even look up these items and go and see who is looking for them. So someone might hit me up and say, hey, I have the samurai wig. I'm, I'm looking to sell it. And uh, I've had a couple people do that, but mostly I just look for the items on my own. And if someone says they have items to trade me, I say, hey, go ahead and look at my wish list. That's what I'm looking for. Otherwise, I'm just looking for the Nook Miles tickets or the bells that I have listed. So up here you have all your contact information. You can see I have my Discord right here. I have uh, the option to link my Twitter if I wanted to do that. This is also like an alternate contact, but I just put please DM all offers on Discord because I don't want people hitting me up anywhere else because that is the easiest way to contact me. Uh, you can even add your friend code and you can add the name of your island right here, which I recommend doing because it just gives people that confirmation that when they search for that Dodo code that they're going to the right island. Uh, this is where you would put your bio and all sorts of information, but I just put again to DM me on Discord because when people leave me offers on my listings, I don't look at it and I don't really know how to get back to them on it because it's not a very efficient way to do business straight from the site. I'm not sure if they're going to update that. They've been updating the site a lot lately, so I'm sure they'll make it easier eventually. But for now, I just think the easiest way to do all transactions is just through Discord. Alright, so in order to get people on your island, you have to go and open up your gates at the airport. You want visitors, and you want to invite from online play. Alright, then you're going to want to tell them that you want to invite via dodo code, and that you want the more the merrier. It's going to warn you that you can get people you don't know, say that's okay, and then it'll open the gates for you, and give you your dodo code. And then you're going to want to send that code to whoever you're trading with so that they can get to your island. Right now I have a listing up for the Starry Sky Wall and uh, I'm asking for the materials required to make it and just one Nook Miles ticket for me to make it for you. Uh, and a lot of people have been coming through and asking for this wall. Looks like I got someone coming in right now. Meet him at the gate. Give him a wave. Say hello. Give him some room to drop materials and the Miles ticket. There's the 
take it. Acquire fragments. One large fragment. All right, and we'll lead them over to the bench. Another successful transaction. I would also like to mention that I've had pretty much no bad transactions on this on this website. Everyone seems to be pretty honest and everyone in this community just seems pretty friendly. So I've had really, really good luck on this site and I highly recommend it. Uh, someone's on their way here right now. I've been selling this black double door refrigerator for about a week now. Uh, it seems to be a pretty good seller. I've been selling it for uh, I originally sold it for like 60k and two Nook Miles tickets and uh, the 60k is the catalog price so I upped my price to 70k so I could just make a little money off of that too and the two Nook Miles tickets. Meet him at the gates, give him a little hello. There's a bit of a delay in the game so I think they probably saw that. Yeah, they saw it. I still have it in a present because I had Liv send it to me so open that up. They drop the bells, so I'll drop the fridge. Go over here, 70k. Two tickets, perfect. Nice, easy trade. Give them the bow, they gave me the wave. And just like that, trade is done. Having a lot of friends in this game can definitely be beneficial. Um, I like to send some of these items back and forth between my friends. I'll send it to them, they can just mail it right back. So that way, if there's an item that is just selling off the shelves, I can keep it in stock, no problem. Right now, we're on our way to Liz's Island, Plum, and she's going to give me two fridges that I had already sent her, and then I'm going to drop her some money so that she can order me two more, and they'll be back at my island when I get back home. All right, so Liz is gonna drop me the two that I already sent her. And I'm going to drop her the bells to order me two more. But I'm going to give her a little extra because she's helping me out. Thank you so much. Alright, so after you're done selling an item, you want to come back to your listings and make sure that you mark it as sold so that you don't receive any more messages for it. So I just sold this grand piano, so I'm going to go ahead and make sure I hit mark as sold, and it will take the listing down. After about an hour of trading, I made like 30 Nook Miles tickets, and I definitely made my money back and then some on the fridges. But yeah, that's uh, the easiest way to get any item that you want in this game, is to just stack up some Nook Miles tickets and make people offers on Nookazon. Uh, thanks again for watching the video. Drop a like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned. We'll be putting out more content. Thanks, guys.